Mike, the Performance Elite 2.5s were unbelievable. Hi, I'm Ricky Johnson. We're at a test facility in Southern California. I'm here with Mike Kim, head shock tuner for Fox Racing. Can you run down exactly what we're going to be driving today? Yeah, so the biggest difference between our 2.5 Performance Elite and our 2.0 Performance Series is uh, the DSC adjuster. So you can go ahead and if you're going through uh, like a desert section with big holes and you're bottoming out a little bit too much, you can go and stiffen them up. Or if you wind up going like on some rock trails and there's a bunch of nuisance rocks and you want to go ahead and loosen that up to get a little more comfort. Also, the 2.5 Performance Elite is a bigger shock. It's a 2.5 diameter, so you have more capacity to be able to go and hit those big holes and not bottom out and have that strike through that we talked about. Alrighty. Right now, just a, the initial feel with the control, it's a little more firm, so it's like if someone's looking for that ultra cush feel, it, it gives it a little bit more firmness but it's not harsh there's a right. difference between being firm and harsh uh, sometimes if like so now when we're coming down and going through the bumps and stuff like that it, it gives you more support but also it is once again another step up and being quiet exactly and also being that it is adjustable if you want a little softer you can actually get out and, and adjust the DSC make it a little softer well and now now we're hitting the bumps we're, we're feeling it a lot less. It's a lot, uh, the sound is a lot less. Now, as we go through the articulation, now I'm curious to what, what is it gonna do as far as rideability. See now, there it feels like it's a little bit, at the, at the lower speed, a little more compliant and softer on low speed. It's not controlling so much. Is that because we can move more fluid with the 2.5? Uh, being that it's a, uh, a bigger piston, sometimes what we have to do is we have to uh, make the low speed a little softer so that we can get some of the harshness out of it. Well, now looking at our speed, we're, we're about another 10% faster than the 2.0, but we're over twice the speed of the standard vehicle, okay? All right, now we're at 10 miles an hour. We're going through just the random bumps like you would find on any pothole down on any road and things like that. So as we're going through here, these are pretty good sized bumps. A lot less body roll and chassis roll side to side. Yeah, and so again, you know, you're getting more comfortable with the, the terrain because you're, you don't have that, that hard strike through. And so you can actually carry more speed and not have to worry about your damaging your vehicle or abusing your vehicle because you don't have that, that hard strike through. And then also, uh, being that these shocks are adjustable, if you want to go out and you know, carry a bunch of stuff or going camping or whatever it is, or you're going out on the Rubicon Trail where you actually carry all your camping gear with you, uh, and you've added you know, 300 pounds to your, your Jeep, well now instead of dealing with the, the Jeep feeling heavy and bothering me out more easily, um, now you can just go back through and throw in a few clicks and you're back to driving a, a Jeep that you can go fast and be comfortable with again. Yeah, once again, we picked up another five mile an hour from the 2.0 and we're over double of the standard vehicle. And as we come over the top of this, notice it's not dropping out. I feel like it's keeping me stuck to the ground and giving me more control. Yeah, and that's the extra dampening uh, uh, that we put into the two and a half, so just you know, naturally the two and a half inch piston is going to give us more damper. Well, in the evolution, like through this, there's no steering wheel input, but the evolution of shocks in, in the early 70s, <clears throat> they would have four shocks per corner. You know, right. and then some vehicles have one shock is compression, one shock is, is rebound. Um, now, with everything that you can do with the having more room to work it makes it that much easier for someone like yourself an engineer to design something that's that, that you can do everything in one yeah for sure and we don't have to run four shocks per wheel uh, we actually have more capacity in a single two and a half than we do in four 2.0 but where i really noticed the difference is on those for one is the the telephone pole does the, the mm. single spike and then the multiple the multiple spikes how, how the wheels are going back and forth um like we talked about with race cars guys that 
if, if they have everything all set up with traction control that you lose the driver ability and I didn't feel I lost any of that yeah for sure and it's uh, you still feel uh, the bump or the hole or whatever it is that you're running over but it's it's just for that one moment it you're it's not continuing 